This is Stephanie and David. Welcome to Explore Itineraries channel. Every epic voyage starts with a meticulously crafted itinerary. It's not just about the travel, but the excitement that comes with planning and anticipation. Here, we take you through the journey before it even starts. Make sure you click like and subscribe to support our channel and to get future content. Welcome back, travel junkies. It's just Stephanie and David on this trip. We're coming at you from the tiny nation of Belgium. A pint-sized pocket of Europe proves that good things can come in small packages as it shines in culture, cuisine, and straight-up wanderlust. From storybook cities and mind-blowing architecture to world-renowned beer and chocolate, this place has quickly shot to the top of our must-visit list. Part of why we chose Belgium is because of David and his passion for beer. Some of his favorites include Westmall, Orville, and Chimay. We'll discuss more beers later in the video. For now, let's get exploring. A little background on this underrated country. Belgium has been a crossroads of European civilization for centuries, passing through the hands of mighty powers like the Duchy of Burgundy, Spain, and Austria before finally gaining independence in 1830. All of these varied influences have created a rich cultural mosaic that is absolutely mesmerizing to explore. In many ways, Belgium's capital of Brussels embodies this diversity and blending of traditions. The city center feels plucked straight from the pages of a medieval fairy tale, with cobblestone lanes fanning out from the breathtaking Grand Place. This central square is considered one of the world's most beautiful, anchored by the towering Gothic City Hall and surrounded by ornate 17th century guild houses. But you'll also find a thoroughly modern, cosmopolitan side to Brussels, from the edgy street art and hip brew pubs of neighborhoods like Les Marots to the sleek EU institutions that make the city a true political powerhouse. It's this seamless mashup of old and new that makes Brussels so utterly unique. Some interesting facts about Belgium. It is one of the most densely populated countries in Europe, with over 11 million people living in an area about the size of Maryland, USA. Belgium is divided into three highly autonomous regions. Flanders in the Dutch-speaking north, Wallonia in the French-speaking South and the Brussels capital region is bilingual. Each region has its own language, so it's helpful to know some basic phrases in both Flemish and French. English is also widely spoken, especially in tourist areas. This complexity is a reflection of Belgium's cultural divisions. Lastly, Brussels is home to the EU's NATO headquarters. If you're looking for neighborhoods to base yourself for a few days, you've got some delightful options. The historic center around Grand Place is incredibly atmospheric with tons of cozy cafes and old world taverns tucked along the winding lanes. You'll feel like you've traveled back in time while still having easy access to all the city's top sites. On the flip side, the chic Sablon district has more of an upscale, trendy vibe with posh antique shops, contemporary art galleries and sidewalk cafes seemingly made for lingering over a glass of wine or two. It has more of a local, residential feel and makes an awesome home base for experiencing that quintessential Brussels lifestyle no matter where you stay, you better prepare your stretchy pants. Belgium's cuisine is an absolute behemoth that gives the great food capitals of the world a serious run for their money. David would be going crazy on specialties like carbonate a la flamande, a rich beef and beer stew, and moles frites, steaming pots of plump mussels served with crispy fries that are a national obsession. For me, anything that involves copious amounts of velvety Belgian chocolate for dessert is my happy place. As opposed to the beef, I prefer water zoi, a type of classic Belgian stew, traditionally made with fish or chicken. It's a creamy and comforting dish, perfect for chilly days or a hearty meal. So what are some of the best spots in Brussels for authentic local eats? La Bicasse has been an institution since the 1930s, dishing up impeccable French-inspired cuisine in an elegant, old-world setting. The tiny restaurant Noé Nimnoff specializes in updated Belgian comfort food like cheese croquettes and stoom. A hearty potato and veggie mash, total stick to your ribs grub. For world-class seafood, it's hard to top the iconic Chez Leon, which has been serving up their famous mussels for over 100 years. And we can't discuss Brussels food without mentioning the out-of-this-world beer scene. From sour lambics and crisp Abbey ales to robust Trappist brews, you'll find every style imaginable at legendary beer bars and cafe breweries like Motor Lambic, Cantillon, and a la Mort Sabite, do as the Belgians do, and order up a burger or hearty stomp to help soak up all those delicious suds. As mentioned earlier in the video, here's why I absolutely love Belgian beers. I am spiritual in nature and have a soft spot for beers brewed by monks. Monks have a long tradition of brewing beer, and there are several monastic beers that are highly regarded in the beer community. 
Trappist beer represents a unique category of brews crafted by Trappist monks. To earn this designation, the beer must meet rigorous standards. Production must occur on the grounds of a Trappist monastery, with the brewing process either conducted or directly overseen by the monks. The brewery's operations should embody the monastic lifestyle, ensuring that brewing remains a secondary concern. Revenue generated from beer sales is dedicated to sustaining the monastery's operations and supporting its philanthropic endeavors. One of David's absolute favorite is Chimay Blue, also known as Grande Reserve. It is a Belgian strong dark ale that is rich in deep flavors of dark fruits like dates and figs, complemented by the malty sweetness and a hint of spice. The beer's appearance is a dark brown with a generous head, and its aroma carries notes of chocolate malt, raisin, and prune, which are a testament to its quality and brewing tradition. Speaking of Belgian specialties, no trip here would be complete without indulging in some of the world's finest chocolates. Trust me, you'll be ruined for all other chocolate once you've sampled the many outlets in this city. Believe me, ladies, the chocolate here is divine. Did you know the Brussels Airport is the world's largest chocolate retailer, selling approximately 800 tons of chocolate annually? Now, David, why couldn't we live here? Oh, Stephanie, I don't have enough stretchy pants. Staying on the topic of sweets, Belgian waffles actually come in two distinct varieties. The thick, rectangular Brussels waffles and the lighter, oblong liege waffles which are denser and sweeter thanks to a caramelized sugar coating. Another interesting fact since we're on the topic of food. Yes, Brussels sprouts are indeed named after the city of Brussels in Belgium, where they were widely cultivated and consumed. Within Brussels itself, the city center and most tourist neighborhoods are easily walkable or accessible via the metro, buses, and trams. When it comes to deciding on accommodation, there are really two main neighborhoods that most visitors choose between in the compact city center. The area just west of the Markt, main central square, or the area a bit further west along the canals. Both are incredibly charming and well-located for sightseeing. It just depends if you want to be right in the heart of the action or a few blocks away in a slightly quieter spot. While Brussels is an absolute must on any Belgian itinerary, we'd urge you not to miss out on the storybook Flemish city of Bruges either. There's something truly magical about the medieval city. From the moment we stepped off the train and into the fairy tale town center, we were utterly captivated. Bruges has a way of making you feel like you've traveled back in time several centuries with its winding cobblestone lanes, towering brick churches, and serene canals. Yet it also buzzes with a youthful energy and modern vibrancy that keeps it from feeling like a museum piece. One of the best preserved cities in Europe is sure to enchant you as it did us. Eat your way through some of the richest cuisine around, explore marvelous medieval architecture, take in the local artistic legacy, and soak up the convivial Belgian spirit. Bruges is the total package. My best tip when it comes to transportation. Get yourself a Bruges City card or Brussels card. The STIB or MIVB. Yeah, you know me. Sorry, had to say it. The network of buses, trams, and metros covers the entire city and its outskirts, allowing you to travel quickly and affordably. Do yourself a favor and hop on the airport train. It rockets you from the terminals into the heart of Brussels city center in under 20 minutes flat. That also frees you up to focus on what really matters, like sipping that next perfect Belgian beer. Taxi can be expensive, but it's an option or renting a bike through a bike sharing platform such as Velo. Some additional explorer pro tips to consider. Belgium's climate is influenced by the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, so it's wise to pack a raincoat and be ready for frequent precipitation and cloudy skies. Public restrooms are not free. Carry some change with you, as most public restrooms charge a fee and may not accept credit cards. Belgians appreciate politeness. A simple hello and thank you in the local language can go a long way. So there you have it, travel bugs. All the delicious details on exploring one of Europe's most underrated and enchanting destinations. With its jaw-dropping architecture, unmatched beer and chocolate scenes, and undeniable old world ambience, Belgium is quickly becoming a new favorite. From the storybook charm of Bruges to the dynamic capital city of Brussels, this tiny corner of Europe is packed with enough hidden gems and authentic experiences to keep you coming back again and again. What are you waiting for? Time to start planning. Remember, half the fun of any vacation is in the planning and anticipation. So do your research and plan your itinerary well in advance. For more detailed information, make sure to check out our website and read our blog posts. Your support means the world to us, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And remember, the world is waiting for you. Until next time.